A manager is considered to be charismatic and well-liked by her employees. She says the following to her employees in a meeting. Okay, whoever sells the most products this month will get a gift card. Which of the following best describes the power exhibited in her statement? A. Referent power. B. Expert power. C. Reward power. D. Position power. So let's highlight our keywords of whoever sells the most products this month will get a gift card and power exhibited in her statement. So let's start with A, referent power. So the question does mention that the manager is charismatic and well-liked, and referent power uses these same qualities, but look at what the question is asking. It's asking us to determine what describes the power exhibited in her statement, not what is exhibited by her characteristics. So considering her statement, it does not reflect referent power at all. So we can eliminate it. How about B? So there's really no expertise being exhibited in her statement. She's not talking about anything that requires her to showcase her knowledge about the job. She's just saying whoever sells the most products gets a gift card. No expertise shown there. So we can eliminate this as well. How about C? Reward power. So the manager is definitely using reward power here in her statement. The gift card is an incentive. She's clearly mentioning it in her statement, and this definitely seems like the correct answer so far, so let's bank it. How about D? So there is no mention of the manager using her position power. She's just saying something in a meeting. If it was position power, then she would say something like, as your manager, I'm telling you, whoever sells the most products this month will get a gift card. She would mention her position somehow, or it would be referred to in some way, and it's not, so we can eliminate it. Therefore, we've eliminated A, B, and D. That leaves us with C, reward power, and that is indeed the correct answer.